Greetings everyone, in this video we'll be looking at NC level 1 uh, tables, equations and graphs achievement standard. In my previous videos I've already looked at uh, linear patterns. If you haven't already please do check those videos out. So in this video I'll be focusing on uh, quadratic patterns. So some of the skills covered will be recognizing a quadratic pattern. So quadratic patterns uh, will have a highest degree of 2 and uh, the first difference will not be a constant. So that will hint you uh, that uh, this uh, particular pattern may be a uh, quadratic pattern. So uh, once you have found the first difference, if it is constant, then it was linear. So I've covered that in my previous videos. But if it is not constant, then you move on to and uh, then find the second difference and see if it is a constant. If the second difference is constant, then uh, the uh, pattern that you're looking at is a quadratic pattern. And the graph of um, this uh, pattern is called a parabola. I will be um, drawing these um, graphs later. So the focus of this video is just uh, to look at uh, how we can form the uh, quadratic uh, patterns equations. So the general form is uh, f of x is given by ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is the coefficient of x squared, which is a quadratic term and uh, b is the coefficient of x the linear term and uh, c is the constant term um, and if i put all of these together uh, that gives you a uh, polynomial of degree 2 which is the uh, quadratic uh, function so we'll uh, quickly have a look at uh, the example so the first one says um, is the following pattern uh, linear or quadratic so you have to identify whether the pattern is linear or quadratic and then the next part to the problem says uh, find the next two terms of um, this sequence so this sequence starts at 1 and then we've got 4 9 16 and 25 so if i find the um, first difference you can see that the pattern goes up by 3 then 5 and then i'm adding 7 and then 9 so in this case uh, you can see that the first difference difference means if i got 4 take away 1 which is 3 or 1 plus 3 is 4 and then 4 plus 5 was 9 so you can see that um, it's not constant each time so it's hinting you that uh, this is not a linear pattern so in this case you can see that the first difference is not constant so we'll find the second difference and here you can see that um, from 3 to 5 we're adding 2 likewise from 5 to 7 uh, we're adding 2 so there is a constant uh, second difference so uh, this um, confirms that the pattern is a quadratic pattern and we can use this to find the uh, next two terms of the sequence so if i'm adding 11 to 25 i'll get the next pattern and then uh, from 11 plus 2 i will get 13 because the second difference is constant and that will give me the uh, next term so the second difference here is always plus 2 and using this i can find the next two terms of the sequence so um uh, 25 plus 11 will give you the next term and then uh, 11 plus 2 is 13 so uh, that answer plus 13 will give you the next term of the sequence so um, the answer to the first uh, part to the problem this is a quadratic pattern because the second difference is constant and in this case uh, it is always um, going up by plus 2 and uh, the uh, next two terms of the sequence uh, are 36 and uh, 49 as you can see over here now in general uh, please do note that um, because the numbers 1 4 9 25 etc are the square numbers so the nth term of this pattern will be n squared and uh, we will be using this information uh, to um, derive the uh, equations of uh, quadratic patterns uh, next why i'm saying uh, the nth term is n squared because if you look at the first pattern so one uh, first term 1 squared is 1, then second one 2 squared is 4, then 3 squared is 9, 4 squared 16 and so forth. So you can see that that pattern is n squared and I'm going to use this information to derive the um, um, equations of quadratic patterns uh, next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.